All right, so today what we're doing is we are trying to, uh, to model these equations so that we can end up solving them using these algebra tiles. So we're, we've got this equation with variables on both sides of the equation. So that makes this a little bit different than ones that we've done in the past uh, when we're talking about uh, in previous grade levels. So we are going to do a little bit different of an equation just so that we can model using these algebra tiles. So we, we're going to model 4x minus 2 equals 2 times the quantity of x plus 3. So I'm just changing it up just a little bit uh, just to help us uh, with these specific al algebra tiles. So let's go over to the website here and we will model this using these uh, this equation using these algebra tiles. So the first the left side said 4x. So I've got to have four x's. And in this case, the positive x's are going to be green and the negative x's are going to be red. And then it said minus two. So I'm going to use these red ones as the negatives and I'll use the positive or the yellow ones as the positive ones. So that's the left side. On the right side, it said I have two groups of x plus three. So I'm going to have one group of x plus 3 and then I'm going to do a second group of x plus 3. So now I've got my uh, my equation modeled first. The next step is I'm going to combine those like terms. So I want these two to be combined. So I've got 2x plus 6. So now I've got my, uh, my terms combined, and now the process is eliminating, uh, eliminating the constants and then the variables so that I can uh, get it down to the variables on one side and the constants on another. So I'm going to start with eliminating the constants. And on the left side, I notice that I've got two negatives. So if I add two positives to those, two negatives, those are going to act as zero pairs and they're going to cancel out. But whatever I do to the left side, I've also got to do to the right side here. So I've got my two zero pairs here where I added the two positive ones and I added two positive ones right here as well. So now I'm going to Simplify this by getting rid of my zero pairs. And now I need to try to work on getting the variables only on one side as well. So I've got four variables, four X's on this side, and I've got four x's on that side as well. So, or sorry, I've got two x's on this side. So now I need to add negative x's to this side so that I can get rid of those two positive x's on the right side. But since I added two negative x's, I've got to do that same thing on the left side here as well. So now these positive and negative x's act as zero pairs too. So I can go ahead and cancel those out. So one positive and one negative. And now the same thing happens on this left side. I can cancel out those positives and those negatives. So now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get rid of, or I'm trying to separate these into a group uh, so that all of my constants get grouped evenly into what's left over here, into my variables. So I'm just going to take these one at a time and say this one goes in that group, that goes in that group, those go in there, and 
And so now I notice that I grouped four ones with that X and I grouped four ones with that X. So that tells me when I delete these, that for every x there's four ones so that tells me that my solution is x equals four so if I go back over here and I plug in oops, that four wherever I see x I should get the same thing on both sides. So we will verify just to check. So two times, or sorry, four times four is 16. 16 minus two is 14. And then I do what's inside the parentheses first. So four plus three is seven. And I'm going to multiply that by 2, and that gets 14 as well. So it looks like my solution of x equals 4 was correct for this model.